Hey, hey, everybody, what is going on? I am Dope, and this is Dope Comics on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be your uh, idiot leader here for a little bit and uh, get on my soapbox. Uh, I think this is my first ever announcement after about 71 or 72 videos. I don't know how many we've done, but I thought I should just come on here and tell something and get on, get on my soapbox and get off. Um... Uh, I always have people uh, leaving me suggestions on how I can get more views. And if I edited this, I'd get more views. And if I did this, I would get more views. And views is great, but I'm not after a lot of views, really. Um, I'm not after a lot of subscribers. All I'm trying to do is bring more awareness to pre-code horror. I love pre-code horror. I'm passionate about pre-code horror. I'm passionate about any horror, actually, but especially pre-code horror. And whenever COVID hit in 2020, I got on YouTube, and there's really not a lot of pre-code horror on YouTube. You got the Golden Guys, which I love. If you're not subscribed to the Golden Guys, you need to subscribe to the Golden Guys. Uh, I love the Golden Guys. Uh, you got DS that does some pre-code horror. Used to. He's leaning more now towards superhero stuff, but... All his stuff, you know, is really good stuff. And, uh, you know, there used to be a dude on the flip side. It was like a, a Grateful Dead dude that hung out in his basement. He showed a lot of horror stuff. And I loved watching him during COVID. Uh, but there's not a lot of pre-code horror when you type it on YouTube. So I wanted to get on here and just bring awareness about pre-code horror books. People don't know they exist to even want to collect them. And once they usually see them, they want them. But how do you want something if you've never seen it before? You know, the census is low because these books are 70 years old, 80 years old in some cases, and they wasn't built to last. I mean, between moisture and it's just crappy paper and two staples. You know, staples rust, there's moisture, there's moss, there's bugs that eat paper, there's rats, there's house fires, there's uh, mold. And that's not even counting the, the paper drives they used to have back in the day. And the, the, you know, don't forget about, you know, they had all the book burnings, you know, from the Christian community to the educational leaders to the leaders of the counties and states. They had book burnings all over the United States because this was the main form of media back in the day. TV didn't come out to 1955. There wasn't no cell phones. This is what kids had to do. And, uh, you know, this is what people were doing. This was the main form of media. So it was everywhere. It was a lot popular than it is now. And it's really a sad thing that it's not popular now. You know, comic books are not going to last. Uh, I work in an industry where we make filing cabinets and we, we make things that store paper. Hospitals are not filing papers no more. You know, and your, your records are on file now. They're on a computer. Uh, nobody's storing paper. Paper things are really going out. And I don't think comic books are going to last. And it's sad because I want people to learn about pre-code horror. And I want people to learn about Golden Age books. You know, I love Superman books. But, you know, Superman hasn't been irrelevant in a long time. Uh, and if you're a, a Captain Marvel or, a, you know, Wiz Comics fan, hold your ears. But Superman's almost as unpopular as, as Captain Marvel now. You know, kids today... It's under 20 years old or whatever. Don't really know anything about Superman. And uh, I love Superman books. And so I'm trying to to keep comic books out there. I'm trying to make people, people more knowledgeable about comic books. Especially the old Golden Age and Pre-Code Horror stuff. So, you know, I put out videos knowing they're not going to do too well. And I have people that tell me, hey, if you did more Spider-Man, you'd get more views. If you did some Thor and put it out right before the Thor movie, I'm not into that. You know, I'm trying to save pre-code horror. I'm trying to raise awareness for pre-code horror. If you know somebody that likes pre-code horror, share my videos and uh, send it to them. You know, I'm not after the view. I'm trying to save pre-code horror and just get it out there as much as possible. Better yet, if you're into pre-code horror, make some pre-code horror videos, you know. Uh, get it out there. I don't care if it's pre-code horror books, the history of pre-code horror, anything. Uh, just get pre-code horror out there. Horror in general, you know, 
I love Mark. I love, I love anything to do with Maurice Whitman. I try to get his, I don't feel like he's underrated. I'm always trying to push Maurice Whitman. It's not about views. I don't care about, I mean, I like views because I know my word is getting out there and people is watching my videos. So I like that, but I'm not interested in the views for me. I could care less about my channel to be honest with you. I don't have anything trademarked. I'm not interested in trademarking anything. I don't sell merchandise. You can't buy mugs and t-shirts and whatever on my channel. I don't do anything. I'm not in it to make money. I've never sold a comic book in my life. Um, I could care less about any of that. I just want people to start collecting pre-code horror and realize how great pre-code horror is and uh, just acknowledge how great the art is. And I love the history of the books. And like I said, there, I got books that are less than 10 on the census. And uh, they just don't exist. And people, when they see them for the first time, it makes me feel good when I see these comments. Like, man, I've never seen that before. You know, it's not an ego thing, but I'm bringing awareness out there to people. That there is these books out there. And people want them once they see them. But, you know, demand and supply is what makes something worth what it is. If there's more... Uh, demand than there is supply stuff's worth money and the more people find out about this stuff and the more people want this stuff the rarer it is the more your stuff's worth but how can you want anything if people don't know it exists so you know i'm not gonna get on here and bitch and moan about it but you know just if i'd like to start a movement you know if 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 y'all people are into pre-code horror make videos or or share other people's videos uh, get the word out there because I don't think pre-code horror or even old golden age comic books kids care about them today. I've got two teenagers and all they want to do is, uh, you know, play video games. Uh, I've tried to get them in reading numerous times. And if it's not some kind of a Fortnite game, they don't care about it. You know, everything to them has got to be Fortnite or Grand Theft Auto or some kind of shoot 'em up game. And I did try to get my youngest son into the Batman Fortnite comics. And uh, they just, they think it's old. They don't want to read comic books. So, you know, I'd hate to see this art form die. And that's why I care so much. But, you know, share videos, make videos, anything to do with Golden Age or Pre-Code Horror. You know, if you make something like that, you know, put, you know, hashtag me in it. I'll check it out. I'll send it along. I'll share, <clears throat> do whatever I got to do. But I just want to keep Pre-Code Horror alive and let more people know about it. So, you know, I'm not going to be editing any video videos anytime soon. I'm not going to be selling stuff. I've never have sold anything. I could care less about making this some kind of career. It's not why I do it. But, uh, you know, if you feel the same way I do, make some pre-code horror books or pre-code horror videos. Make some 70s. I mean, the 70s books from D.C. are 50 years old now. That's that's ancient to kids today. A 50-year-old 70s D.C book i was born in the late 70s and 70s don't sound that old to me but the kids born today that's a 50 year old horror book to them so even the 50 year old dc books you know 70s dc there's nothing like bernie wrights and you know uh frazetta uh reese whitman you know lb cole they're wonderful and people need to know about them people need to know about these books so it's been under nine minutes. I'm getting off my soapbox now. Uh, don't expect nothing cool out of my channel. We ain't going to start any. I don't have no header or no kind of opening song that comes on whenever you watch my videos. I don't know how to do any of that. I'm just trying to raise awareness, bro. So until the next time, I will see you again beneath a blackened sky.